medicine in at Paul Tisco was my niece. She was the first born girl of the next generation of my family. We are robbed of her sweet smile and her joyous laughter and her biting wit. Because of you, we will never be in each other's weddings. She won't make me the aunt that I've always wanted to be. And I don't have someone to turn to when something goes wrong in my life. Because of you, my family is left with a gaping hole in their hearts and nothing will ever be there to repair the damage. Now we have a void in our family that can't be filled. No holidays, no birthdays, or just how are you doing? Nothing, I have to watch videos on YouTube to see her move around, talk, and see her personality. She was 22 years old, gone, left on the side of the road like trash until someone called in a body in the grass. Your Honor, I'm asking for a prayer for judgment for as little as it may be the max of 12 years. With two thirds the law, he will be out in eight. My daughter's gone for life. That's how I feel. Thank you. This tragedy has broken our hearts. Maddie was one of five children. She was my first daughter. And I appreciate your accountability and taking responsibility for this grave tragedy of my daughter. I recognize that you were under the heavy influence of alcohol beyond that of intoxication. I received your apology and I choose to forgive you. I don't know you, you are a stranger. And the last person that was with my daughter and consequently struck her with your vehicle and proceeded to drive onward. I can't make sense of this recklessness. And I'm sure you can consider all of the questions, but know this, God never fails. To my family, to my love her, I am sorry. I'm paying at a cross time. I know there's nothing I can say or do to change that or fix the outcome, despite the fact I think about that every night and everything that I could have done to change that outcome. Why I didn't. I don't know what's going through my mind that caused me to get in my car and take her life in such a horrible manner. And yes, in my time incarcerated, I will do everything in my power, even after that, to write by her name, to live a productive life. Once again, I am sorry so sorry to the family. So sorry to all the ones I've affected and devastated by taking her away. I take responsibility for that, and this has forever. I'm sorry.